hey welcome back to my channel this is Liz here if you're new here you already know to hit that subscribe button I finally upgraded and got a new phone like I'm so happy this has definitely been a long time coming and when I say long time coming you want to see my phone actually this looks really good but I have I currently have an iPhone 8 plus and I've had this for four years or something three four years I got this right when they came out and I've now had it for like forever when I got this phone I made sure I bought phone cases I never bought a screen protector actually so I just bought phone cases and I always kept it secure and it still looks really good see I'm gonna show you there's only a few scratches I was trying to show that my phone is cracked but I think I'll make like a separate little video and I will insert it right here or right here but anyway so I've had this iPhone 8 plus for a long 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 time and just about time to switch it out so i'm so excited so if you want to see what new phone i got you probably might be able to tell by the description but if i didn't put it in there and you want to see what new phone i got then make sure you keep watching this is so crazy so i actually waited i waited a whole day to open this phone which is like insane like I can't even believe that I had the patience not only did I have the patience to wait for years or whatever to buy a new phone the phone came way too quick I swear I have not bought a phone in that long that's how I know I was like what is happening I put in the order because my phone's been due for an upgrade for like years now it was like 6 p.m. on Tuesday evening I put in the order and then it said it would be delivered by 10 a.m. on Wednesday and I was like tomorrow 10 a.m what because I remember like I always had issues with AT&T and ordering a new phone and ordering an upgrade like they would send it to my mom's address or it'd be a whole thing not only do they have the right address it was coming at 10 o'clock the next morning and I was like whoa 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 I'm not even ready for this I need a case I need this I need that so I'm thinking like it was gonna get delivered at least like the quickest would have been like a two-day delivery so I figured I ordered the phone and then I just get a case off of Amazon and I was thinking the case was honestly gonna come first because it's Amazon I guess they have like a mobile store thing going on now with AT&T it was partnered with this company called enjoy so what happened is like um, a guy from enjoy gets my order from AT&T and he has like a mobile AT&T store and they don't work on absolutely no commission they're literally just there to help you finish your order and make sure you get the phone that you asked for and doesn't get delivered and dropped off in a mailbox or left somewhere which is what my my problems were before so I was very appreciative of the service he showed up right on time they texted me about 20 minutes before they got here he let me know that he was coming he was on his way he'd be here in about 20 minutes and then he also let me know that he did have the mobile store and that he had cases airpods or anything else that I might need that I might have you know forgot to order when I was ordering my phone so that was great and then he also was so gracious to remind me that new phones don't come with the charging blocks so anyways I was so thankful so thank you to AT&T and thank you to enjoy for that service because that was honestly top tier and I'm glad I didn't have to pay anything more for the service it's just something that came with it and I literally actually paid zero dollars so this will all just be added to my next phone bill but it's okay so my next phone bill is gonna be a little pricey the, um, the cost of the phone and everything but that's okay at least like right then and there there was no transaction necessary like I didn't have to like literally do anything to get a new phone so that's good so in case of someone who did have an emergency so if I was in an emergency situation where my phone broke and I couldn't afford it because of whatever reason especially with everything going on in the world that'd be such a great service to know that I could at least get my phone back because a lot of people nowadays do depend on their phone in order to make money so if your phone's out of pocket and you can't even get a new one that would be an issue so that's a great idea so shout out to AT&T for that and enjoy for bringing me my phone right to my door I'm telling you guys right to my door like they knocked on my apartment door they didn't even like I don't even know how you got in the building but whatever you guys ready to see what I got I don't even know if it's upside down I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max I got it in gold and 256 gigabytes I am so 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 excited the fact that I waited a whole day to even open this like you guys can see the plastic is still on and everything I hear people say that the picture quality is so much better obviously there's like three cameras on this one compared to my one little camera so I'm gonna just unbox this I'm so excited I'm really so excited so it doesn't come with a charging block it doesn't come with headphones it doesn't come with anything but thankfully I did just get the MacBook Pro 
four months ago five months ago so at least I have that charging block I probably might invest in a second one because I don't want to share my computer and my charger but I could charge it directly on my MacBook my MacBook has the power the USB-C plug okay so that works just gonna unbox this so excited so guys here we go oh my gosh the sticker is off But it looks so clean so this is how it just looks out the box there's literally probably nothing else in this box let's see um if there's anything on this side there is absolutely nothing on this side but i like how there's like a raised edge to protect the camera this is literally everything that was in the box right here in this hand this is the empty box so we're gonna go ahead and put that down over there so this is the charger like they said there is no charge into it but this part does plug into my MacBook so I can charge it with my MacBook charger or I can just charge it directly with my MacBook. Like at least I have charging options because I feel like that's people's most, like the biggest problem when you order this new phone is then you kind of have to immediately also order the charging block which would is another expense I was not, I'm not here for right now. And then this right here, so this is just I guess the SIM card thing, iPhone stickers that I now know what to do with. <laughs> Literally never used one before this year and then a little booklet and that's literally all that was in the box besides the phone When people tell you you're getting nothing, you're getting nothing. I'm kind of salty like I don't care much about the charger block But those headphones like I want some headphones headphones are not cheap especially good headphones. So this is how this comes right out of the box It lets you know what each button does if you haven't had an iPhone before you don't know Apple I obviously have a case right now, but I'm gonna try and do a comparison for this for you guys So I'm gonna go ahead and try and activate so crazy, but like I'm Trying to see if one's like heavier. I'm gonna weigh them out, but this one does seem slightly heavier obviously it probably has way more technology it looks a little thicker cuz even with this case on, it's about the same thickness. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see like a customization video of my iPhone. I've been working on, since I ordered this phone two days ago, I've been working on trying to figure out how people customize their iPhones and everything. And I started a little bit with this phone so you can see like kind of brown aesthetics. That's kind of what I want to go for in my other phone. But like I was just messing around with it for these past couple of days trying to see how it goes and how not. So I think, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to make a separate video kind of explaining my thought process or my process in general of how I update my home screen into aesthetics or what's on my iPhone, like kind of maybe the apps I use and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and call at and get my phone activated and then I'll kind of just be back to show you guys maybe the difference, the specs um, and stuff like that and I'm just so excited. Actually, so that guy got me. I know I said there was no upselling but I knew my phone case from Amazon wasn't going to be here as quickly like I said. So I did end up just getting this clear case as well and it's so funny because I was thinking about buying a clear case when I was on Amazon but I'm like that's so plain so I ended up actually got a pink auto box case and then now I always have this one as well so on some days when you know I don't want to feel so pink this is like $40 though so that's the only thing I paid for while he was here and then he also had the credit card reader so I just kind of used my card and gave that to him but it seems very sturdy because uh, I don't need it I don't need it but I don't have a screen protector So I just turned it on actually I don't know why I don't know why I said I do it off camera because that's no fun for you guys I just turned it on I can't screen record but so I think I'm gonna set my phone up as a brand new iPhone just because I don't want to clog my storage up because I have so many pictures or videos on my old iPhone so it says quick start bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up I'm just gonna set it up manually I don't want all the stuff from my old iPhone on my new one which is weird because I feel like that's what people want but I, I personally don't want that only because I'm always at home I have my iPhone I have my work iPhone so now I have I have my personal cell phone I have my work iPhone now I have my old iPhone I have my tablet I have my MacBook and I have an iMac that's so many devices and I don't need them all to have like all the same stuff on it because I don't use them all for the same things and I don't need to clog up storage for stuff Saying it may take a few minutes to activate. I wonder how long that will take. Especially, that's why I'm like, I did it when I transferred my documents. 
or anything because that phone it would take forever okay so now it's asking me about my face id i feel like that's been one of the biggest factors in me not getting a new iphone is i don't like face id and i don't like the thought of not having your home button right here so i guess you can also just not set up face id but it says first position your face in the camera frame then move your head in circles to show all the angles of your face So it's asking about apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this phone. Okay, I'm like, what if I don't want to? I'm like reading all the options. So I'm going to hit don't transfer apps and data. I lost my iTunes account once. It, it was the worst thing ever. I had to start all over. So I never want that to ever happen again. So this phone got the verification with the verification code that I need to put in 254106. Enter the password you use to unlock Liz's MacBook Pro. This is ridiculous. I guess it's good. It's good that they're really protective of people's privacy, but this is annoying as well. I will set up Apple Pay later, which I need to. Apple Pay is clutch. <laughs> Let me tell you, I can't tell you how many times I forgot my wallet or I just didn't have a debit card or whatever reason, Apple Pay has saved my life. I do want to set up screen time, but do I want to do it right now? Why not? Let's do it right now. Let's set up screen time. True tone display, see without, see without. Ooh, no, we're going to do that. Continue. Welcome to my iPhone. Oh, it says swipe up to get started. I'm sitting here waiting. And there we go. I got myself a brand new iPhone, nothing on it, no pictures, no apps, no contacts, nobody, just me. Now if only I could stay like this, but let me check the photos. There's nothing in there, nothing, nothing. I literally have like 20,000 pictures in my old phone. <gasps> no, wait, there's pictures. Did I just see pictures? Oh, okay, there's pictures in my iCloud library. <laughs> For my edge brushes. Shop busy day shopping. Get yourself an edge brush. They're super cheap, under two dollars. Oh, you know what? I need to I need to activate my phone. I really like my photos. Like what I have there from my photos and the mail. The mail one has to be my absolute favorite. I found these pictures on Pinterest and just the brown envelopes. Oh my gosh. Love it. But this is my iPhone. I'm gonna try and show you guys some different whatever I can add to the end of this video right now. I'm gonna try and do that for you guys. So yeah, just make sure you keep watching if you want to see some differences between the iPhone 12 Pro Max and my iPhone 8 Plus. So if you're thinking about getting this phone or you have any questions, then I suggest that you just keep watching and see what the differences are or not. So based off of just the outside features, the phones kind of look the same, but they're obviously not. The cameras is one of the biggest differences as you guys can see. The iPhone 8 only has a tiny camera, meanwhile the iPhone 12 does have these three cameras. So there are three different magnifications for the cameras. One is at 1, just regular magnification, then one is at 0.5, then the other one is at 2 times magnification. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you're interested in watching more content about my iPhone then please make sure you leave me a comment down below and as always I'll see you in my next video. Bye!